<clears throat> the first thing that you, I always want you to do on the front of this book is what? Find a spot to write your name. Okay, let's get our highlighters ready. And yeah, you're told me in the in the title there's a word the. That's one of our sight words. The. Then take your highlighter to the bottom. What do you see at the bottom? We need to highlight. Said. And us is. Two. Is got is. And then what about help? That was one of our words last week. Help. Us, that, yeah, you could do that one if you wanted to. That's, that's kind of a kindergarten one. We haven't done it this year, but hopefully you know that one. Okay, highlighter down, pencil ready. Let's come up to the top. Okay, so remember we're talking about those final blends. <clears throat> final blends are when you write two consonants together at the end of a word, like in this word, lost. Lost. The lost cat. Does this look like fiction or informational text? I think it is fiction, but do you think it's fantasy or realistic? realistic? It does look realistic because if it's realistic fiction, that means it could really happen. These aren't real people, but this could probably happen to somebody, okay? You could lose your cat, that's right. Mm, oh, no, okay. Okay, you'll have to tell me a story later, all right? And this word right here, I see a C-K, M-I-C, Mick. And I see some quotation marks, exclamation, quotation. So how is she saying that name Mick? Mick, right? Not angry, but maybe concerned. Yes. Hey, let's sign out this word, B-S, Bess. Mm, uh, f. Muff. Muff. Ooh, there's a quotation. What does quotation marks tell me? They're talking. Someone's talking. There's one of those final blends at the end of lost and an exclamation. I'm good. There's a final blend right here. Ask. Ask. I see one of these blends right here. Trent. Trent. To help us. And there's some quotation marks. So Mick, Bess, Muff, Lost, Ask, Trent, and that's it to help us. Okay, so at home, press pause. Practice reading those sentences three times each. Then press play when you're ready to read together. Let's see a whisper read here at school. Okay, let's read it together. Fingers ready. Underneath the word Mick, where there's some quotation marks. And the word said, well, it usually comes after quotation marks, doesn't it? Okay. Finger under Mick. Waiting on everybody's fingers. Waiting for fingers. Still waiting for fingers. All right. Fingers ready. Ready and read. Mick said Bess. Muff is lost. Ask Trent to help us. Okay, so who do you think these kids are? Mick, said Bess. The boy? Do you think the boy's name is Mick? Okay, so capital M-I-C-K, there's Mick. Who's talking? What was the girl's name? And her name is Bess, you're right. B-E-S-S, okay. And she says, Muff is lost. Who do you think Muff is? The cat. cat. The cat. How do you know that? Because the title said, The Lost Cat. cat. That's right. Who are they calling? Who she said that they, she wants him to call and ask for help? Trent. That's right. Trent. Okay. All right. So, so far, could that really happen? Could you lose a cat and call your friend to help you find it? I think so. Turn the page. Oh, there's Trent. Okay. All right, highlighters ready. What do you see? Uh, is yeah. at, at his. Yes. I see yes and yes. Okay. We. I. I yes, yes. Will. Said. Help. Help. Good. Is and I 
want you to highlight must. That was one of our sight words, or sorry, our spelling words last week. So that's one you should know. Okay, must. You should be able to find must. Highlighters down and pencils ready. Is at his. Is, yes, yes. I will help. Said we must. Okay. All right, we've got tur There's one of those ending blends. Trent is at his d a s k. There's one of those other ending blends. Sk. Muff is l a s t. Oh, there's a question mark. Exclamation! Exclamation! Comma, comma, comma. Trent. Now this is a tricky one. I want you to underline this word right here because it's a tricky one. It looks like find, but it's not find. It is the word find. And it does have one of those nd blends at the end, those final blends. Find. And muff exclamation. Then I'm going to go back and circle my quotations. There's one. There's one. There's one. And there's one. Quotation marks tell me that. Someone is talking. And then when there's another one, it tells me that they're done talking. So it tells me when they start talking and when they're done talking. Okay, at home. Oh, we've got the word Trent desk. Muff lost, Trent find, and muff. Those are the only ones that are not sight words. Practice reading this at least three times to yourself, then press play when you're ready to read together. Okay, let's get ready to read together. Now that you've had some time to practice that page. Xavier, I need your eyes up here. Fingers ready. Everybody's finger ready. Ready and read. Trent is at his desk. Muff is lost. Yes, yes, I will help, said Trent. We must find Muff. Okay, so is Trent going to help? Yes. Yeah, he is. He's going to help him find him. All right. Turn the page. What are they doing now? Yeah, it looks like Bess is looking under the couch. Trent is looking around on the floor. And Mick is looking under the blankets on the couch. Okay. They're trying to find that lost cat. All right. Highlighters ready. What do you see? We got a highlight. His and and. We said must. Ooh, that was fast. Good job. His said we must and and. Now, highlighters down and pencils ready. I see an nt at the end of trend. And I see pull a n, but they added an ending s to that word. So it was plan, and now it is plans. T ask. Do you know what a task is? Anyone have a meaning for that word task? Like yeah, yeah. Do something? Yeah, like if I said, Noel, here's your task. Can you please go pick up the snacks at the kitchen? Okay? Yeah. That would mean it's a job or something that you need to do. Yep. All right. Shh. Quotation, comma, quotation. Come on. Now I see, Lillian, an NT at the end of that word, hunt. An NT at the end of trend. Oh, there it is again. Hunt. 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 Whoa. Quotation, quotation. Oh. Now, wait a minute. Are they going to hunt that cat with a bow and arrow? No. Oh, what kind of hunt are they talking about? What kind of hunt are they talking about? See, Lolly, thanks for raising your hand. Oops, see, Lolly raised her hand, so I need to hear from her right now. Yeah, it means they're going to look for him and look for him and look for him. Hunt and hunt and hunt for it. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we have the word Trent. Hang on. We have the word plans and task. Hunt, Trent. And then hunt, hunt, hunt. So those are the only ones that are not sight words. Press pause and practice reading this to yourself at least three times. Then press play when you're ready to read together. <clears throat> okay, I hope they're not hunting that cat with a bow and arrow. Okay? Put your finger under the word Trent. Trent. Fingers ready. I'm waiting on everybody's finger. Wait on everybody's finger. Ready and read. Trent. P 
plans his task. Now, wait a minute. If he's planning his task, what is he doing? Yeah, he's thinking about what he's going to do, his job that he's going to do. What is the task that they're going to do right now? What do you think, Sophia? Finding the the cat. That's right. All right, let's look at the word hunt. Fingers ready? Hunt, Trent said. We must hunt and hunt and hunt. Okay? Well, if your cat was missing, would you want to find him? Yeah? Yeah? Make sure he wasn't outside. Page. Uh oh, what does Trent see right there? Footprints. Yeah, that's a good clue when you're looking for a cat, right? Okay. Highlighter ready? What sight words do you see? Is one, two, can. We could do us, that's fine. All right, highlighter ready. I mean, sorry, highlighter down and pencil ready. Okay, on this first word, Camila, come on back. I want to mark through the E, rainbow to the E. Ha, E, er. Here, good. And there's some quotation marks. Here's one of those words that has an nt at the end. Ha, e, nt. Hint, what does a hint mean? Sophia? A hint is like a clue, yes, good. Hopefully you know what C-A-T spells. Cat. Ooh, and this word, tur ah, I see a C-K with an ending S on it. Turax. Turax. And then I see an exclamation. There's that word, turax, again. Ooh, now right here, I see a word where we need to mark through the E, rainbow to the A. When we rainbow to the A, it's the E shouting and saying, What's your name? So that word isn't tack. What is that word? Take. Good. And then that last word is muff. So these words that we did not highlight are here, hint, cat, tracks, tracks, take, and muff. Ooh, I don't know why I hear your voices right now. I should hear your voices when you are practicing reading this. Read it at least three times to yourself, please, and press play when you're ready to read together. Okay, let's read together. Starting with the word here, put your finger under the word here. Wait on everybody's fingers, Marco. Finger ready? Ready and read. Here is one hint. Cat tracks. Tracks can take us to Muff. So if they follow the tracks, is it going to take them to Muff? Yep. I hope so. Oh, it looks like they're out on the porch. This looks like a screened-in porch or maybe like a little patio. And I think maybe they found them. Okay. <clears throat> Highlighter ready. What do you see? The, the can, can at, at C. Good. Um, yeah, we got apps. Good. Highlighter down and pencil ready. There's an unt. There's an unt at the end of Trent. There's an unt at the end of went. There's a st at the end of past. Unt at the end of planned. Und at the end of st and. Last. St at the end of last, comma. There's an unt at the end of Trent. And that last word is muff. So Trent went past plant stand. Last Trent muff. Last Trent muff. All right. Trent went past the plant stand. I want you to read this three times to yourself. Press pause. Read it three times to yourself. Press play when you're ready to read together. Okay, let's read it together, please. Put your finger under the word Trent. Put your finger under the word Trent. Fingers ready? Ready and read. Ooh, you ready, got ready, Tevin? Ready and read. Trent went past the plant stand. At last, Trent can see Muff. What is a plant stand? It could be where you buy plants, but at their house. See, look, this thing right here? 
where you put the plants on top of, a stand that you put the plants on top of. What does it mean if it says, at last, Trent can see mouth. At last, what does that mean? Camila. Yeah, well, it kind of means like finally, right? Like, at last, the movie was over. Finally, we got to go to recess, okay? So finally, after all this searching, they found the cat. Turn the page and look at the cutest picture. Oh, look at those little babies. All right, highlighter ready. Tell me what you see. Is not... And what side words do you see? Will, will, will and no. I don't see she has small. Yes, not good. Are you highlighting, Grayson? Is not has small. And will rest. Oh, sorry. And will. And. Okay, that first word M U F F spells? Muff. Good. There's a st at the end of lost. Okay. And an exclamation after lost. There's the word muff. Oh, I want you to underline the S on this word kit. There's the put an S. Ooh, and that makes it, we've been talking about singular and plural. If I say kits, is that singular or plural? Plural, because it means more than one. Muff, in this word right here, I see er, er, er. If I put a in front of er, what's that word? Her. There's an ending S to make that word kit plural. Marco, let's go. There is a st at the end of rest. We're almost done with this page, honey. And there's a st at the end of rest. Okay, I want you to practice reading. Muff lost. Muff kits. Muff her kits. Rest, rest. Okay, practice reading this at least three times. Press pause and practice reading. Press play when you're ready to read together. Okay, last page, let's read together. Fingers under the word muff. Ooh, I'm looking for fingers. Finish strong. All right, fingers ready. Ready and read. Muff is not lost. Muff has small kits. Muff and her kits will rest and rest. Okay, so was Muff missing? No. No, did you know that when cats have kittens, they like to go somewhere away from humans? Yeah. They they're stressed when they go have kittens. Yeah. yeah they they want to stay away. They want to go away from humans and they usually find a nice warm spot to have their kits or kittens. Ooh. Them. So, what? Ooh, hang on. What adjective is describing the kits on this page? You got it, Casey? Kittens? Yeah, but what adjective is describing them, though? Little. What kind of? Not little. What's it say? Baby. You got it, Kimmel? Small kits. Yes, yeah, good. Now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now, who are the characters in this story? Muff. Muff. Muff, okay. Muff, Trent. who else? Trent. Trent. Kit. Kit. Bess. Bess. Muff. And Mick, okay? And what's the question that I ask? What is the question word that I ask when I want to know the characters? I ask the word, who is this story about? Now, what's the setting of this story? Where and, Where and when? Where are they at? They're at Mick's house. Yeah, they're at Mick's house. And then they called their friend Trent at his house, and he came over to Mick's house. And where did they find Muff? At the garden. I think outside in the garden. You're right, okay? So the setting was pretty much at Mick's house the whole time. Did it happen at nighttime, at daytime? Yay. At daytime, I think you're right. Good. Could this story really happen in real life? Yeah. It could, so it is not fantasy, it is realistic fiction. Very good. At home, please practice reading this book several times and send a video to your teacher of you reading it.